Well, I'm glad I wore my strong walking boots and I'm glad I wore my lightweight hiking trousers. They've always got loads of pockets as well, it's always handy. And uh, I'm glad I didn't carry anything too heavy either, like a big thick jumper or a huge coat. Oh my goodness, that, there's that. Put that down a minute. There's a big cow in there, look. Woo! The size of his arms. The bull is in there as well. I can see him still. Yeah. Let me just run up that bank a minute. See, there's that big bull sat down. Look at the size of him. Now, he ain't got a ring in his nose. The red eye of a bull though, he's got red eyes. He's massive, look at him. He was walking around paddling in the lake earlier. When I came by, I thought I videoed them earlier. They're such lovely, lovely cows. Look at this one here. I'm back out walking on the roots of the trees. There's like a path here. Hello. Look at you, aren't you lovely? Yeah, you hello. You're beautiful. There's a baby. There's Dad. Yeah, I'm back. I came. I think I walked along this uh, this bit earlier. I might not have. I might get down here. Uh, let me see. Um, no, I did bypass the tree and got up that way. Well, I think I'll get down. Oh, there they are, there's the cows. Dad and Mum. And like I said, they can walk along the top of this wall here. Oh! Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I just feel sad because... There are sad things going on everywhere, but I feel happy in other ways because of the beauty. The beauty everywhere around me, you know. There's so many walks everywhere, so much to see. And of course, sometimes, like I said, I've said before, you've got to wait till you're retired. You sometimes have to wait. To your retired before you can enjoy it. Have the hours. But of course, what happens when you get older? You've lost that huge energy you had as a young person. It's still pretty good when you get really good days, but you have slowed. I mean, if I had my younger self here, say from the age of 35 even, which isn't dead young, or say 30 or 25. I would be saying, get a move on, Mum, Sheila. So it's quite a hike. What I've got to remember, it is quite a hike through this wood. I need to be over there, really, as well. Yeah, it's quite a hike. And it's slightly uphill actually, this bit. Like I said, I couldn't video it properly on the way down because of the damage lead. That was very annoying. It was almost trying to walk the other day. But I'd done enough, so it wasn't too bad.
I'll probably cross over onto the other track now. Because I haven't done it before, I've also got no idea, no idea at all how far I've been, how long it takes. All I know, when I get back to the main junction up there in a minute, the Croco, I'll call it the Crocom Junction, it took, oh God, I've forgotten already, I think it took an hour and a half. That included stops. Shoelace is undone, I have to stop in a minute. I just heard the steam train whistle. It goes down. You can get a you can get a steam train up down there by the way, in the village of West Bagborough or somewhere or a village nearby. Um, the steam train that runs from um, Minehead and back to Minehead passes down in that valley. That's another thing you could do see one day. There are so many things to do. You don't even have to leave your own county. This applies all over the country where people live. There's so much history around you. So much history. So oh, beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to turn off here because I want to take a picture of that lovely tree there. I might have done it on the way down, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 